Making a wild salad doesn't have to be complicated. I'll admit that identifying wild greens when the leaves are in prime condition for a salad can seem hard to do. But when a plant gets its flowers, then the identification is a lot easier. In this salad, I'm going to use the young leaves from the wild bristly hawksbeard for the greens, but I'm also going to use some flowers, flowers that you may already know, and you may even have them growing in your yard or in your neighborhood. Hey, welcome to Haphazard Homestead. I'm Holly Chris. I'm glad you're here. This is going to be a good salad because I've got some garden lettuce. Here's the garden lettuce. I already washed this. I just got in a hurry, but I want to show you this crepice. You might say, hey, it looks like a dandelion. Doesn't it look like a dandelion? But I'll show you. See, look at how that does it. See that? Look at that. That's just so typical of a crepice. See, it's got that long cord in there. How about that, huh? And then take a look. See how it's almost like cray paper? And then it has these lobes, but they're not really teeth, right? Yep, this is a crepice setosa, the bristly hawksbeard. I think it's one of the underappreciated edible weeds of late spring and early summer. If you're not expecting to see a crepice out there as a weed, you might think it's a dandelion or you may not notice it at all. And that's a shame because crepus setosa is really great for salad greens. It's like a garden lettuce. And you may say, why are you calling it crepus setosa instead of bristly hawksbeard? I have a hard time saying bristly hawksbeard and it's a lot easier for me to say crepus setosa. Now there are a lot of different kinds of crepus. Some of them are native to North America and other ones were brought over and now they've spread all over the place and they grow in the grassy areas and vacant lots and farm fields and other disturbed areas. So it's worth getting to know which kinds of crepus are growing around you. They have a thin leaf. See, it's very thin and pliable. It's not thick. It almost looks like a wild lettuce. It's a thin leaf. As they get older, see how that's a little drawn together like crepe paper. It's crepus. See how ruffly that is? I haven't tasted all of the different kinds of crepus, but I can vouch for this one, crepus setosa. Its young leaves are really good for salads. It's worth looking for. It's just a fun thing to try to do. Oh, there it comes. Look at that. I mean, there's no importance to that other than if you want to confirm your identification. It's just kind of a fun little trick. It takes a little deft touch. You don't have to take it out. Yeah, that's a pretty strong little cord, isn't it? Look how long that one was. So that was way down in the grass. And you'll say, is that a dandelion? And I say, no, look, a dandelion doesn't do that. No. Oh, it's pretty incredible. You see how that's more like cray paper? It's just a dandelion doesn't look all cray papery like that. You might think, ooh, see, look, there's one. It sure looks like a dandelion, but it's not. It is not a dandelion. You can see it's almost like cray paper, it's like it's ruffled together. You think about it, somebody just pulling that cord and drawing it tight. Pull the cord. Whoa, draw it tight. Now see, this one's a little older. That's that leaf. I'll take that off. Ma'am, that has such good flavor. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You have to chew, they're not really tough, but they're not, they're not gonna melt in your mouth. It's more flavor than a lettuce, but it's not bitter. They do get bitter, but this is just fine. That's nice. With this, it's gonna build a salad. You know what I like to do, but both garden lettuce and the crepus, they're mild enough. It doesn't have to be the super tiny pieces. This is a little wet, but you can see that's going to be good. I am going to bring in some yellow rose petals. They're from the yellow rose. Now, I don't know the name of this rose. This bush was old when I moved here almost 30 years ago, so it could easily be half a century old. But I do know that the petals are good for salads. The petals have a good fragrance, a mild flavor, and there's no bitterness at the base of the petals like in a lot of the red roses that I've tried. The roses on this bush don't last very long, only a few days. For making a salad, I'm looking for the flowers that have just opened that day. The new flowers, when I look inside, the colors are nice and bright. The older ones have already started fading to brown on the inside. The rose petals are easy to pick, but there can be insects inside that blossom. So I lay my harvest out for a while to give everybody a chance to escape. 
For making a salad, I don't have to trim the base of these yellow rose petals because they're not bitter at the base like so many red roses that I've tried. And I could leave them in whole, but I'm not much on eating a whole petal. It won't be as pretty this way, but that's life. And then I've been marinating oranges and thinly sliced red onion. And then I'm gonna add some of my black locust flowers in here. If you can find a black locust tree around you, you are in for a real treat. The flowers are so sweet and fragrant, they really add to a salad. The flower season can be short, but there's no shortage of flowers, even from a small tree. You just have to be assertive in picking these off. Don't pull backwards, pull forward, because if you pull backwards, the whole branch will Snappy. pull back. In here, there's a leaf. I'll clean that up. Just pick clean, pick organized, even if you're picking flowers. So go ahead and gather some extra and get them in a cottage cheese container or a yogurt tub and put that in the refrigerator, and they'll last for two or three weeks in good condition, good enough for a salad. I typically leave the whole flower cluster together and then strip the flowers off when I use them. That center piece of the flower cluster is not for eating. The leaves of the black locust tree are not for eating, just the flowers. I put a little olive oil in there. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can have too many black locust flowers in any salad. Don't put any leaves in it. No leaves. Yeah, that's looking pretty good, isn't it? Give it a little bit of pepper, and then I'm going to put a little bit of red bud vinegar on there. I made that red bud vinegar earlier in the spring from flowers off of a red bud tree. The only other ingredient in it is vinegar. Either apple cider vinegar or white vinegar works too. And then I'm going to put in some walnuts. I crack some walnuts. Put some more of these in. Can't have too many of those. Put some flowers on the top. So there it is. Let's give this salad a taste and a live taste review too. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's delicious. Oh, I ate that whole big bowl of salad. I went back for seconds. That was so good. That's company quality salad. That was so delicious. I hope things are going well at your place. Thanks for watching. Bye.